for your love and unity of purpose. I am very glad to be here today. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the honor of inviting me to be part of this great movement. Amen. I bring you greetings from the Calvary Temple. Amen. Speak the Live Bible Church. Amen. 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 I came here in the company of my beloved sister, a woman of God. Amen. Sister Favor. Praise the Lord. I also, my precious daughter is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Woman of God, Pastor Obi, may I use this video to appreciate you so much for the wonderful work you are doing in the name of the Lord. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. My prayer is that our good Lord will sustain and uphold your hands yes. to accomplish in Jesus' name. Amen. My appreciation will not be complete if I do not mention the man of the house. This is no other man than the husband of our pastor, Elder Okase. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Sir, the Lord bless you, Riku, for all your support for your wife to carry on this wonderful work. Amen. You know, it's not easy that a woman will be doing this work and the husband will support. Not every man can do it. Not yes, every. It's only the grace of God. Amen. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, I thank God that today is a great day for the women. Yes. Women of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You are looking so beautiful. Amen. I thank God for you all. Amen. Today we are going to consider the topic that says, a woman, a help meet. A woman, a help meet. Amen. Amen. It's a very interesting topic. A woman, a help meet. Yes, we are a help meet. Can you repeat that with me? A woman, a help meet. A woman, a help meet. Again. A woman, a help meet. That makes me to be happy is that look at us that we are in the agenda of God. We women, we are in the what agenda of God. That God has made us what we are today. Yes, sir. It's not by our might. It's God. May His name be glorified in Jesus' name. Yes. Let us open the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 25. Before we go on, I'm calling on Sister Favor, please, to read as we listen. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 to 25. And the Lord God took the man and put him into a garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the earth and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them and whatsoever Adam called every living creature 
that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to all the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an herb made for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh, intended the arrow. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And they we are both naked, the man and his wife, and we are not ashamed. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, this is your word. We pray everlasting redeemer to come down and take control. Amen. Open our ear and our mind to hear and impress you. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for today that God has added one more year to the women. Women, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the agenda of God, we are there. It's something to make us happy, to dance unto the Lord, to give him praise, to glorify his name, for he is good to us. Where we read, said that God has created everything and he took Adam and put him in what? In the garden to take care of everything. But God looked around and see that something is missing that is very, very important. That cannot do. Nothing can be done if that thing is not there. What is that thing? Woman. What is that thing? Woman. The women of God, are you here? Yes. yes. I ask a question. I wanted you to. It's men. Men, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, God Almighty, who created heaven and earth, after creating everything, He placed everything in order. But he look at the life of Adam. He know that something is missing. Without that thing, Adam, Adam cannot make it. There will be a problem. And that thing is you and me. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 As we were reading, as we, I know you listen to the reading. He said, Go look around. I said, what can I do? Now, he said, okay, he took what? One what? Ring. Out of who? Adam. To create that his desire. That God knows your mind. God knows what you desire. As a man of God, God knows your desire, your hunger. And God will accomplish it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today, the women are being created to be what? A help meet. A help meet. Man cannot succeed without a woman. That is why God provided beautiful women to their husband. So that they can now do what? Support you in whatever you are doing. The most important thing there is when God created the woman to be a help meet to him as we are today. No more Adam. Adam has gone. Eve has gone. We are now in place of them. 
Woman of God, are you a helpmeet to your husband? Yes. What we are saying is to be a helpmeet spiritually and physically. You have to be a helpmeet both sides so that it can balance. And when God created the woman, Adam did what? There's something in the Bible. Adam said, eh, This is what? The bone of my bone. Today, our prayer is God to give us the wisdom and understanding to move on in this work that the Lord has given unto us. God has given you a work to render. God has made you to help that man, that's your husband, to make him happy, not to provoke him. I thank God for the peace that has been done here. That means there is love moving in that family. When you can know the size of your husband's shirt, the size of his shoe, the food he likes, that means before he comes back from work, you can prepare those good things for him so that if he comes back, he will be happy. Woman, a help needs. And the, another thing, when we were in Sunday school, I had a question our sister raised to say, what can we do? I think that is how you ask the question. Who is that? Our Sunday school teacher, where are you? What can we do to make sure that we carry along our family as a helpmeet? What can we do? The word of God must be in your mouth. You must be a, a Christian that puts it in practice, not theory. A woman of God being a helpmeet. That family, you see yourself, there is a purpose why God put you there. That problem, when you see it, you complain. This is not the time of complain. There is a song I heard, they say, level don't change. For you to be a child of God, level don't change. You are no more what you are before. You are now a new person in the Lord. You have to act as a woman of God. You have to build your husband as a woman of God. You have to put your knee in prayer. Those things you complain, you go to one person or the other, hey, you know what I'm passing through? Hey, is that hard or? No, that is not the way. What you will do is go to God, complain to God, lead him before God. When he is sleeping, he will not know. You will go to him, my husband. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will guide you. Pray for him. Speak a word of prophecy into his life. You will see things will be changing. That difficulty, you will not see it anymore. About our children, yeah, you can speak the word of God. Sometimes, as our somebody says something about school, when they go to school, they will turn the whole thing around to tell them another thing. They can take it back home and come to your house. Our work is to lift them before God. A help meet must be a woman that fears the Lord. You must fear the Lord. Are you hearing me, women of God? If you want to make a good home, if you want the Spirit of God, the glory of God to be in you, you must do what? Fear the Lord. Obey his commandments. Leave every other situation for God to take control. He is here for you. He is the one that created you. He has called you a helpmeet to help him. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. What I want to say, in every day of our activities, recognize God. Obey God. A helpmeet in the family of God, in the church of God, you are both side. God has blessed you to do the underground work, 
people might be coming to ask, how do you manage to control so 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 and so 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 thing? You will know what to tell the person. Don't be say, I don't Jeremiah. I don't this, I read the other book. But it's the word of God that will build you and strengthen you. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Today we are happy to celebrate and we want God to turn our life around. There's a song that says, I can see everything turning around. revelation to hold on to God to obey him he will turn your life around for his glory amen coming to physical things there are times our husband is not strong enough it's not capable of what money it's not the time to tell him all bad words. It's the time to comfort him. To give him a word of what? Encouragement. Give him a word of encouragement. My husband, we will make it in Jesus' name. Amen. My husband, we will never fail. God will not put us to shame. Forget about what we are saying. Give him a word of encouragement. Because you are created by God. And the hand of God is upon your life. As soon as you come here, every Sunday, every prayer meeting, to see God, do you think God will forsake you? No way. He will never. People might be looking at that man, woman, every time you carry Bible, every time you pray, forget. God is going to catapult you to a higher level. In Jesus' name. That things you see as things that are impossible. God is going to make it possible. Today, our husband, you have heard the word of God. We are a help meet to you. Whenever you see us, make us to be happy. Recognize us. Pamper us. We need men to, to make most of their wives. There are some men that doesn't make most of their wives. Whether whatever you do, like today, as we come out of your rib, it's what the Bible says. From your rib, we were created. That woman that God has positioned to you to be your wife, please recognize her. Love her with all your heart. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. And the woman that is a help meet, need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God, she needs it so that he will guide you. There are things you will like to do. After praying, the Spirit of God will say, no, don't do it in that way. Do it in the other way. Don't go in this line. Go the other line. May God give us a listening ear in Jesus' name. May God give us a listening ear in Jesus' name. Amen. If we look, the woman that was first created is a lesson to us. I mean, if it's a lesson to we women, it's to say that he can comport herself without talking blah 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 everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. No control. I think that thing that happened, maybe it wouldn't have happened. He would have, she would have controlled herself to say, hey, this man, this thing, this thing I'm hearing. Where is, it, where is it coming from? And the Spirit of God will direct her. May God help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. We will never be a failure. Yeah. You will never be a failure. Yeah. In the family God has blessed you, you will never be a failure. Yeah. If you can be able to hold onto God, hold onto His promises, walk with Him, allow God to take control of everything you are doing in life. The difficulty today, okay, you will okay. not see it tomorrow. You will not see it anymore. If you can be able to connect, the most important okay, okay, okay. thing is to do what? Connect. Connection. If you take your phone, 
Bim, 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 bim. Before you know it, you connect. What will you hear? Hello? Connect God. God is our omnipotent and omnipresent. Omnipresent. He knows everything. You are passing through. Don't panic. Don't cry. Don't complain. Don't talk anyhow. Because it can distract you out. In the family of God, in the body of Christ, victorious in what is victorious? You find yourself, whatever that is going on, find yourself there. That is what I always tell our women. Whenever you go out, you see it cannot work fine. There is prayer, you don't be care. With your children, you have, I, I pray, I, I'm going to take them back. Two months, you've not seen them. They are not connecting. The most important thing is for you to connect God. You will see God working on your behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Today being a day that God has set apart for us to recognize Him, to thank Him for what He has done in our life, it will be a day we will never forget in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help us. In everything we are doing, we are seeing, we will see God in action. Woman of God, I thank you for your effort. I thank you. I, I have seen, even in the Sunday school, how everybody is moving spiritually. Walk with her. I thank God that many of you, I have seen what you have said and your performances. That shows me that you people are working with her. And you see the blessings of the Lord will be showering upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. There are many a times our problem, women's problem. There are many a times people will bring you story, bring you complaint. When you start listening, before you know it, you defeat. May the Lord give you the wisdom how to walk and what to do. Let me not take much of our time because I know there are many things we are doing. May the Lord bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Those that don't have a partner, a husband, mark today. Today will be a remarkable day in your life. I pray in your life that God will give you the wisdom to know who is your husband. That is the problem many of us have. Amen. This special person, God position for you, maybe for you and him to work together to the glory of God, you will not understand, you will miss it. Before you know it, you will get another wrong hand. May the Lord give you the wisdom to connect the right person in Jesus' name. Amen. Our men, I pray also that God will give you also the wisdom, the revelation to know that man, that woman that God has positioned for you to be your helpmate in everything, in everything of life. He, she is there for you. And many a times there are, when there is no communication, it destroys. Many, many times if there is no communication, husband and wife, if your husband come back, embrace him. Those days I can remember when my husband is coming back, whenever I hear a sound of honor, I will come out to check to know whether he, she, he is not, if he's the one I will stand. I will be the first person to impress him, to say, you are welcome, I'm happy to see you. And before you know it, women, it's a secret too. I want to read you a secret. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. I want to read you a secret, but I don't want the men to hear it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it is well. Whenever you see a man, you put him in a position, boost him, before you know it, you will never see anybody outside. Yes, sir. You will never cross the line. Hallelujah. He is going back only to welcome him. The way you welcome him, we praise him. Man, is it not so? Huh? Oh, my God. Is it not so? Huh? The way you welcome him. 
my sweet time. You are welcome. I'm happy to see you. You will see. Uh, what is it? He will be bringing whatever he has. Even you can even put your own hand in the pocket. May God help us in Jesus' name. What we need is only but what? Connection. Connection. A woman, a help meets. You need what? Connection from God. That God will help you. That everything in your life will be perfect. As we do it, may the good God bless every one of us. In Jesus' name. Before I... This is a precious gift that God has given us. We are going to ask God, these children that you have used to bless me, bless our family, bless, bless the church of God. In this land that they have found themselves, they will be on top. Amen. They will never miss out. Amen. They will never go astray. Amen. Let your guiding angel Before we pray, please, if you are carrying your baby or any baby that is here, and bring them to the altar to be better. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now, forever, now, forever, more. Living above causes. We are in Europe. You know 
know that there are many people in Europe. If there's one man we saw day before yesterday, he has every document, but he's a drunk, moving up and down, useless himself. Do you think it's normal? It's not normal. That is not normal. He has every opportunity to work, but he's doing nothing. Going up and down, laughing. God forbid, it will never be our portion in Jesus' name. There are many that have passed. We are coming out from our country. I don't know where you came from. You know your own country. They say, I hear with my ear. Somebody said, I have no nothing. That to go Europe. That is not the only son. Nothing to go Europe. Now go and carry something. Come now. If you go and bring something, what is to go Europe? But today, every bondage must be broken in Jesus. Yeah. We can know the woman, the widow. I don't know whether you have read across that scripture in the book of First King about the widow that her husband died. Prophet Elijah. God of mercy, God who sees a fan, make Elijah to enter into a problem. He's hiding himself from here to here, looking for the place to hide. And there was no food for the man of God to eat. And the Lord said, Go to Zarephath. There will be you. A woman will feed you. There is a woman there that will take care of you. Go there. But woman of God, that's something that marvels me. This woman has no food. They last me. But this is not. Hey, prophet, go to her. Say, the Lord said, if you will take care of me. My sister, I want to ask you a question. If you are the one, is it possible? Answer me. I said, there's no food for somebody to eat. The last meal, she said, this meal I'm having, I want to eat with my son. And after that, I do what? We die. My husband has died. He said, no. We cannot keep silence. If you keep silent, how can I be in a river? And so, you enter my eye. God forbid. As you are in the presence of God, I want this hour. Every bondage of the enemy, every crisis of the enemy in your life, let it be broken. Yeah. Even our best, lift up your voice. Let us stand up. Let us stand up.
that has gone out from her. We are going to pray for her now, for God to refill and for God to increase. And she will never see any decrease. Begin to pray for her. Any spirit that is sent out, let us go straight to others. That spirit will never come back. Pray for her, pray for the husband, pray for the family, pray for the children, pray for the church. May God protect them. Pray for God to refuse anything that has done us. The husband God has used 15 years ago. I know the husband. That's like I came to this country, the first Pentecostal church I went. He was the I learned a lot of things from the husband. And God used the husband to train many people. The husband is the pastor of Speak the Night Bible Church in Munich. Reverend Francis, you all know him when they came here for our Thanksgiving. And also this sister I see here, we know her we have, since 15 years ago. She's one of the ministers in the church. Ten years ago, in 2008, we danced together. That, that's I wonder. I don't want to show you the YouTube where the dance is. We danced Igbo cultural dance. We danced Shake at that time. It, it was 10, 2008. I am not telling you where it is. That time it happened. We you shaked Munich small before God arrested us. Praise the Lord. God pray for her for her coming here. God we bless her. Amen. For God to use her more, she has three children with her husband. May God protect them. And coming here, God will give her more days in Jesus' name. And the woman of God that is here, God bless her. She has a mother, and the husband is a father. You are welcome, woman of God. In Jesus' name.